What's up guys, I'm finally back. So I know it's been a long time since my last video. I think that was in late July of last year. So it's been 10 months. Uh, so what I want to talk about today is this new uh, ejection system. So last video, I talked about a solenoid ejection system and that didn't really end up working because it, was, it wasn't strong enough to push out the parachute uh, of the rocket. So I developed this new ejection system, which uses a CO2 cartridge and this really powerful spring, which I don't have right now. Okay, it uses this really powerful spring. Okay, it goes in here. And this screw is on this thing here. It's really sharp. So what that's gonna do is it's going to puncture the CO2 cartridge and blow up, blow out the air and the parachute. So let me explain how it works. So first of all, you're gonna need some safety glasses. Safety first, right? So actually, funny story, when I was developing this, um, I was testing it with my dad, right? And uh, we were testing it. This is a really powerful spring. So I, I, you know, I loaded it and everything. And this thing popped out and it hit my dad straight in the safety glasses. So safety first, safety is really important. Okay, so this is how we load it. You take this, uh, this plunger thing. I took it from a Nerf gun actually. So this spring is from a Nerf gun. This part is also from a Nerf gun. So this, this is a plunger. You can uh, compress the spring and put this guy in. So what you got, what you have to do is take this hole, right? And align it with, with, with this hole here. It's there. Okay. Uh, put that in. And then make sure the hole's aligned. And then you push down the spring. And when you see the hole in, in this uh, little opening here, you're gonna take this pin and put it in there. And it's gonna load. Uh, let's see. Right there. So right now it's loaded. And if this pin gets pulled out by the servo, this thing is gonna shoot out. It's really dangerous. So I'm not gonna point it at the camera or or myself, obviously. But the spring is compressed and that that screw is is ready to be fired. So next, take the CO2 cartridge and take this guy, put the CO2 cartridge on, and then screw it on here right this is not this is not a loaded co2 cartridge it was already used for one of the tests and then uh when this guy's flying and the rocket detects um basically zero g uh this servo is gonna move and it's gonna pull out the pin so let me show you how that looks like so it's really powerful and that's that's gonna be able to puncture the C2 cartridge. And I'll show a video. So this is a test done in September. So, uh, that's basically the new update. Um, hopefully I can get some launches done this summer before school starts again. Um, so yeah, see ya.